Barbie. Vacation Adventures, Barbies. Vacation Adventures, Barbies. Where the hell am I? Hey, what's up guys? Leo the video game guy and I, I guess you caught me playing wrestling. I'm here to do a quick pickups video for you guys real quick here and uh, show you what I got this week if you guys just popped over from my uh, Confessions of a Video Game Seller Episode 3 video. Well, you're going to see some of the stuff that you didn't see in that video that I picked up. So let's get started. Tell you what guys, we'll start with some Game Boy games. <clears throat> First couple things I got, let's start with Pokemon. Boom! Pokemon Gold. Can't complain, got Pokemon Gold for 10 bucks. I'll sell this for 20, 25 bucks, around that price as long as it saves. I also got on Game Boy, this is actually real nice, this is a Japanese copy, I got this from a buddy of mine, this is, excuse me, this is a uh, Chinese copy, Mega Man 2. That's a real good one, um, I know the Chinese copy ones are, uh, are pretty rare, as you can see, there is some... Uh, uh, Chinese writing there in the American versions don't have that also have the uh, on Game Boy Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 Kobe's Journey if I pronounce that correctly <laughs> Not bad, got that for a real good price as well, a couple bucks. These are actually the Sega 3D glasses. Check that out. Sega 3D glasses. Now, Sega challenges you to experience Sega Scope 3D. 3D so real, it puts the action right in your face. Not even 3D effects like these can match what you'll see through these amazing Sega Scope 3D glasses. Games and accessories sold separately. Pretty cool. Um, I actually um, haven't come across these very often, to be honest with you. I haven't seen these in a while. Can't complain. But I can't complain. I can't complain. I went to the uh, uh, South Bay Drive-In um, swap meet on Wednesday morning, and I scored some sealed PS2 games. Fisherman Bass Club. I also got NHL Hits 2002. And as you can see, nice and sealed. I know this is worth at least 11, 12 bucks sealed. Um, I also got, this actually I got um, a couple days prior, but this was another PS2 game I got. This is Starsky and Hutch. The ramp, stars. Why? Hey! Couldn't pass up on that. Another sealed PS2 game with the uh, original uh, sticker. And uh, the, obviously, the best part about that find um, was getting Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 uh, sealed. That was huge. Not only were these sealed, but these have the the original. Um, tabs on the back un unused I don't know if you can see I don't know if you can even see that and see if I can get a good angle there it is boom see that it's got the original tabs unused still on the back the plastic tabs for when they used to hang them up both of them have this both have the original sticker under the sealed plastic ladies and gentlemen this is dark cloud 
and Dark Cloud 2 for the PlayStation 2 Seal. Great find. I'm a sucker for sealed items. The thing is, is with things like these, I hold on to. You're not going to see me selling these off very quickly unless I find the right buyer because I'm just not interested in selling these. So I'm stoked to get these because these are going right in my collection. All right. So I also have, this was real cool. I also got these, uh, picked these up at uh, the Qualcomm Stadium swap meet. These are the Blu-rays I got. Four of them have the slip cover. We'll start with the one that didn't have the slip cover, but couldn't complain, and that's The Wizard of Oz. I were king of the forest. Not queen, not duke, not prince. Got it on Blu-ray, and it has a promo sticker on it, and I thought that was kind of interesting. I want to look into that. I might not open this, depending on the rarity of that, that promo sticker. I also got on Blu-ray um, with the slip covers, as you saw, I got Thor. I need a horse. We don't have horses, just dogs, cats, birds. They give me one of those large enough to ride. Happy to get this because I have, I've, I've actually not seen this. I also, as you saw, Planet of the Apes. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn dirty ape. That's Rise of the Planet of the Apes. You guys know me and slipcovers, dude. If I can get a Blu-ray with a slipcover down at the swap meet for three bucks, I'm probably gonna get it. All right, I also got the two that you didn't see in the uh, in the Confessions of a Video Game Seller video before you popped over here. I got, with the slipcover, Cowboys and Aliens. Some people said they didn't like this movie. To be honest with you, I enjoyed this movie. The thing is, is I'm a big Western fan. Um, a big Western fan, and then you throw in sci-fi, combining the two. I thought they did a good job, honestly, combining the two aspects, the two genres, into one, one film. And then, obviously, I couldn't pass up on this, especially with the late Paul Walker. I gotta get it. Had the slip cover. And that is Fast Five. Yeah, I actually saw the first four uh, Fast and the Furious movies, and I have not seen Fast 5, 6, or 7. The last bit of things I got here... Oh, actually, before I, before I move on and show you the, 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 the DVD sets I got, um, I thought this was real cool, actually. Jason Lindsay. Jason Lindsay. Right on, man. He sent these over, and these were these were real cool, man. This is a little Cheech and Chong setup here, man. He sent me, and I thought that I thought that was real cool, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. As you saw, I got I got these set up right here, nice and carefully. Look, watching over us here as we do these these pickup videos. We're gonna oh oh no, Cheech, 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 or is it Chong? I also got this figure. I thought this was kind of cool. I got a little Crash Bandicoot, a little bendable action figure. thought that was kind of cool. I got that from my buddy Vegan Eric, Parrot Eric, as you guys know him. Got that for a couple bucks from him. Pretty cool. And I also got a little Cleveland action figure. I thought that was kind of cool. I'm a sucker for these things, man. I actually got some really cool DVD sets. So I know I'm Leo the video game guy, but I'm also a sucker for music and a sucker for film and TV shows cartoons especially animated cartoons from the 90s late 80s whatever you want to call it so i got these and i was really stoked to get these i got an amazing deal what you're gonna see here i paid 32 dollars for everything okay so let's start off the first two sets i got was darkwing duck volume one and two Yep. Both of these, these are both three disc sets. This one includes the pilot and the first 25 episodes. Volume 2 includes 27 episodes. So stoked to get these. Next, I got 
volume one, two, and three. This is a total of, let's see, 27 episodes on volume one, 19 episodes on volume two, and 24 episodes on volume three. Disney's DuckTales. DuckTales, you. I'm huge on animated series. As you guys saw um, on my last pickup video, I got the, the Batman animated series for super cheap. And ever since I picked those up, I'm like, I'm, I'm picking up Disney, you know, anything Disney, anything animated from the 90s I'm getting. I also got, as you can see here, volume one, three disc set includes the pilot and the first 23 episodes of Disney's Tailspin. Sweet. And I also got to round it all up, volume one and two, both are three disc sets. I got Disney's Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I'm stoked to get these. I'm stoked to have these in my collection. These are not for sale. Sorry, guys not for sale these are going right on my shelf and i'm real happy to get these and i'm real happy that my son is going to be able to watch these one day as well all right guys that's going to be it for leo the video game guys pickup video i just want to say thank you guys once again for subscribing keep telling your friends tell your family tell everyone tell your italian food maker tell your grocery barber your grocery barber that's right tell everyone that leo the video game guy is here to stay all right, guys, I'll catch you next time.